Hi and welcome to Completely Electrical STEM Show. Today we're going to have a look at the inverse square law. This is to do with lighting and what it does, it helps us work out the lux levels of a surface um, and the deciding factor is the distance between the light source and the surface. So the equation looks like this and we've got three symbols there, we've got I, D and E. The I stands for luminous intensity, and this is measured in candelas. The E is measured in lux, and that's like the surface illumination. How illuminant does it appear? And then finally we've got the D, and that's just the distance from the light source to the point of interest, so our surface. Now, as you can see that is d squared and that gives you an indication of how this um, works really. If we double that distance we're going to quadruple the surface area of light and so the more distant you become from the light source the more that light spreads out and the dimmer our surface will appear. Um, it is quite a linear fashion and we can put numbers to it but the concept's pretty straightforward. The more I move away, the more light spreads out. You also get a similar thing if we go at an angle, but we'll deal with that in another video. So let's just do some examples and then we can see how this works because it is fairly straightforward. So let's say we have a light source and it's pumping out 170 candelas of beautiful light and our distance is two meters away. Well, we simply do 170 divided by two meters squared. And that gives us a lux level of 42.5 lux. Now let's double that distance and see how that affects the lux levels. Because it should be about a quarter, given what I said earlier. So, this time we're four meters away from the light source to the point of interest. So 170 divided by four meters squared, and that gives us a lux level of 10.63 lux. So it is about a quarter of the distance. Uh, it is about a quarter of what we had before. So this does work, and that's about it really. Um, as I said, in the next video, we're gonna deal with measuring to one side of the light source, um, and a similar thing happens, but then you have to deal with the angle as well. Um, there we go. Inverse square law. Done. Fairly easy one, that one. See ya.